What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the first like gardening video that I have for this season. I hope to have quite a few more, but today we are going to be focusing on planting these flower seeds and I am so excited to get started. I am no pro when it comes to gardening, but I have definitely picked up a few like tips and tricks and um, gone through a few different problems along the years and so I want to just share with you guys my knowledge and hopefully get you guys to create some really beautiful flower beds this season as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me and let's get started. Here are the little packets of seeds that I'm going to be planting today um, and before I planted them I just wanted to share a little bit about them uh, I definitely have the most experience and knowledge dealing with these three different types of flower seeds and I know that there are many of you out there that are very interested in starting flower beds and growing flowers especially from seeds so I wanted to just kind of pass on my experience and my knowledge to you guys so every year I plant these same seeds. I have had nothing but really, really good success with them. They are very low maintenance. They are great for beginners in my opinion. So in total I have 13 packets of seeds here and three different types of flowers. So starting over on this side I have some zinnias. I do have a few different variations. I picked up two of this type. Um, this says that they are lily put mixed colors. And so there you can kind of see the different kind of colors that will come from one of these packets. And then I have one of these packets. These are State Fair Giant mixed colors. And then I have two packets that will just be these colors. So on the left side I have the Giant Enchant Trist color and then on the right side I have the giant lavender gem colors so the zinnias you can kind of see by the picture they they look like layers and layers and layers of petals they are super super like chunky um, on the top here they grow really nice and tall they're definitely a bold um, flower choice they're absolutely stunning I love photographing these flowers just because of all of the layers of petals um, I like taking like the side view of them just because you can see all of the layers that they have and then I purchased five of these packets they're all the same these are Cosmos they all typically come in two different shades of pink a lighter pink and then more of like a fuchsia and then mixed with white so these ones I am obsessed with. Um, just the color variation of the three colors I think are so beautiful. They grow super tall, but the flower themselves are so like dainty and beautiful and girly. They look like a group of wildflowers, something that you would see like in a field. And I'm just obsessed with these ones in particular. I love the zinnias as well, but these cosmos totally have stolen my heart over the last four years, I believe. So in my opinion and from my experience, the Cosmos and the Zinnias go together so nicely. They grow to be just about the same height as one another, so they're just perfect when they are like side by side and paired up next to each other. Normally I section off um, the right hand side of my flower bed for the Zinnias and then the left hand side for the Cosmos. I think this year I'm going to switch it up a little bit and just do all of them like mixed in with each other just to see like the Cosmos and the Zinnias literally right next to each other as opposed to being on two different sides. But if you like the wildflower look, these are two of my absolute favorites. And if you are looking for something that's low maintenance and something that is for beginners, these are definitely the flowers and the seeds that I would recommend. They don't require much attention at all. Um, like I said, they're super low maintenance and once they get growing, you pretty much just let them do their thing. All right, and then I also picked up three packets of these mammoth sunflowers. The thing I do remember about these is that they took forever to finally bloom. Um, and so it was a very long waiting game. But again, very easy. They grow super, super tall. They're awesome to take pictures with and in front of. So I'm gonna try my luck with these ones as well this year. Here is the first update on this massive flower bed that Matt and I started two summers ago. So if you have not yet watched 
the video that I posted about this flower bed last year. Um, I highly suggest watching that video. I went over nine of the most useful steps that I could think of that I've kind of gathered throughout the years on how to start a flower bed, um, especially if you want to grow perennials, which are the flowers that are supposed to come back every year. So in that video, I just gathered my tips and my failures and what I've learned and just kind of combined all of that information into that one video. I will have a link for that video in the description box of this video. The reason why I think that video is so important to watch is because um, the first year that Matt dug out this like flower bed area, I had none of my perennials come back. None of them survived. And as you can see, I have perennials, so I did something right last year. Um, I have a total of nine at least that have survived. I think a couple more might be popping up over the next like week or two. But if you are not from the Midwest, we had the worst winter ever. Constant snow, constant below freezing temps. We were pretty much living in a polar vortex for a few days with like negative 40 degree weather. So I was shocked to see any signs of life with this flower bed. I thought for sure the frigid below freezing temps would have killed all of these off. But like I said, nine of them have returned and I am so happy. So I wanted to share with you guys the status of this flower bed at the beginning of the season. I will try my hardest to continue making gardening videos for you guys. So here is the first of hopefully quite a few this season. So hopefully you can tell um, through the video. This flower bed is still quite a bit below ground. I definitely want to raise this and add dirt and just add more layers of protection for the winters to come. So my focus for the flower bed this year is to get it to be like ground level with the grass. There you can kind of see how far down it dips. So I'm going to work on adding dirt soil. I'm also going to add a layer of mulch on the top that is supposed to help with um, when it's like super dry out it keeps the soil nice and moist and keeps those plants getting like hydrated for longer than if there wasn't mulch. I also did not do much planting of annuals last year so that is something else I'm going to do again uh, this year in this flower bed. Probably will wait a few weeks to add um, the annuals just because with Chicago weather you never really know <laughs> when um, you're safe from the cold. So I will probably wait until after Mother's Day to go ahead and plant those. And I think that I'm just going to plant them in the like front perimeter of this. And then today I'm just gonna work on planting those flower seeds. The flower seeds, like I said, they grow super tall. And so I try to plant according to height. So since those are definitely the tallest plants or flowers that I have, um, in this flower bed. I always do those in the back perimeter. I'm going to start planting them like right over here and just move my way along and then there is a huge pile of dirt that I have that I've had in our front yard for the last like year and a half ever since um, this flower bed was created and dug up so that is going to be another thing that I'm going to work on today trying to get as much um, of that dirt over there into here as I can I will also be using this miracle grow garden soil um, to like cover the top layer because I know that this does feed the plants and gives them like the necessary nutrients to really thrive so I hope you guys are as excited as I am for flower season to be upon us. I cannot wait to start planting. I am planning on planting quite a few annuals this year. I'm going to be doing a lot more like planting and gardening in pots. I have so many ceramic pots and 
for the last few years I haven't wanted to use them just because they're so colorful and definitely not my style anymore but I think I'm also going to try and spray paint all of them and just a little bit more usable so I will be doing a video on that too in case you have any really colorful loud ceramic pots that you kind of just want to tone down um, with the appearance we're going to test out some spray paints and see um, how that works out but for today we're just doing the flower seeds I'm gonna give you guys a close-up on how all of these look again I'm sorry I don't know any of the names and then right behind that second one I have this like spiky one in last year's video I did share with you guys all the different types of plants that I planted in here and so I'm going to just have to try and look and compare here is the fourth plant right back there is the fifth and then I have this plant right here another one pretty close next to it and then I have this one growing and then I believe right over there is a daisy um, just by looking at the leaves that's what I'm thinking I could definitely be wrong but as you can see all of these look super super healthy and they are growing in width and in height very quickly so these perennials that have come back also do seem to be really easy and low maintenance so as soon as I can get the names for all of these I will do an updated video on this garden bed Hi. I have my little helper he you've always enjoyed planting with me haven't you yeah so we're gonna do it again this year and he's gonna be helping me what are we doing this year perennials now we're gonna do the flower seeds do you remember what flower seeds we do which ones we do sunflower. We did sunflowers a few years ago. The cosmos and zinnias have been laid. We need to add our layer of soil on top and then water them. But we did a mixture of cosmos and zinnias from this little branch right here. Uh, I used as our marker. And I have those running all the way down to that groove over there. So quite a big section of cosmos and zinnias will be grown on the um, back end of the perimeter of this. And then over in this section right here, we, we are gonna be doing the sunflowers. Since we only have three packets of those, I figured that this little section right here would be enough. I do wanna keep them nice and grouped together. I'm just going to lay those um, right in this like U shape here. And then we are gonna put our soil down on there and call it a day. flowers have been laid you can totally see um, these a lot easier and a lot better than the Cosmo and Zinnia seeds but as you can see there's no technique to planting these especially in ground pretty much just lay them add some dirt give them some water and you're good to go our sunflowers are going all the way like right behind Aiden's hand there all the way surrounding here so I don't think that all of these will bloom and grow but I have as you can see more than enough 
to create like a really nice and pretty display of the sunflowers, right? flower seeds that I use today and the soil I just picked up from Home Depot. So let me know if you plant any of these seeds and what your um, experience is with them and if you have any success this year with them. I cannot say enough good things about the Cosmos and the Zinnias. They are just fantastic I think. Here is an up close view of this mound, massive mound of dirt. Um, Aiden and I are just going to keep plugging away at this and try to size it down a little bit. I'm sure this will be like a two week long process because it's exhausting. Um, but just a little bit every day I think we'll get this mountain of dirt down in size I hope. Alright so the soil has been laid. We added a little bit of the dirt. Excuse all of the noise. We have a ton of construction happening on our street currently. Um, but we added a little fraction of the dirt pile over there. We'll come back and share with you guys when we started noticing um, signs of growth and once the flower seeds kind of pop out. Um, we added about, I want to say three inches of soil to the back perimeter of here to cover the seeds. Some parts I think we added more, some parts less. Like I've said, I am no pro at planting. I just do what is simple and I always have pretty good luck. So we'll see if the luck continues this year. I am assuming just from past years that I will see signs of growth within like a week and a half to two weeks um, at the most. I might even start seeing some sprouting happen within the next like seven days. These grow pretty quickly. Like I said, they're all super tall, so that's what the majority of the time of their growth is spent on. And then once they start blooming, the blooms last like well into fall. I think we'll probably have about a month and a half of just growing in height. And then we'll start seeing the blooms and I'll share with you guys the entire process. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think I should have another video on this topic and on um, this growth within the next two weeks. So come back to check that video out. If you did not check out last year's video, please make sure to watch that. There's tons and tons of useful knowledge in there to help you guys get started on one of these flower beds, especially if you are trying to grow uh, a mixture of flower seeds, perennials, annuals. So check that video out and come back for my remaining gardening videos. I'm also hoping to start a veggie garden this year. I just need my husband to build me a planter box. So hopefully that is on deck for the summer. But I'm going to try and have lots of gardening videos on my channel this summer. Come back and check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. My name will be down below. And thank you guys again. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Okay, you guys, I wasn't planning on filming today, but I wanted to share with you guys our current situation. But yesterday, Chicago was hit with a ton of snow, and that was literally two days after I filmed the first part of this video. So, um, totally unexpected. We were like well into the 70s when I filmed, and then a cold front came through along with a bunch of snow. So, I just wanted to share with you guys what I do. This isn't the first time that I've had to do this. It is the first time this year that I've had to do this. But in the past, I've had to do this uh, just with this crazy Midwestern weather. Uh, if you do any planting and you get a sudden like freeze or a bunch of snow come through after planting, all I've had to do, and I've not had any problems with this method, is just to cover 
be planted flowers or plants with a tarp. As you can see, a bunch of branches came down as well, just because the snow was so heavy. Um, so yeah, it's a mess to clean up, but I am pretty confident that the plants underneath should still be healthy. So just in case you get any unexpected, unwelcomed winter weather, after you're done doing some planting, um, don't be too alarmed, just cover it with tarp and of course make sure to uncover it as soon as temperatures rise. I just uncovered the remaining of this flower bed and hopefully everything is still good to go. It's gotten a little flattened out but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, since I did last film I added more dirt on the back perimeter of this where we planted the flower seeds and I am expecting to see some um, growth within the next like hopefully next week.